Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Mubaje. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. Today we're considering finding and knowing the will of God. You know, God wants us to know His will because He loves us. And He wants us to be on the same page with Him so we can walk with Him into the fulfillment of all that He has prepared for us. You know, fulfilling destiny in life is partnership with God. It cannot happen without partnership with God. So you must understand His will for you. You must find it out. You must understand it. And then you can fulfill it. Praise God. And that's why it is important to find the will of God. The Bible says, Known unto God are all His works from the foundation of the world. And it is not in man who walks to direct his own steps. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. You did not design your destiny. You did not create yourself. So you could not have designed a manual for your life. And so God has a great plan for you because he made you in his image. Now you have to find out what that plan is before you can fulfill it. And the glory of your life, you know, the significance of your life is actually in fulfilling God's purpose and God's plan for you. So you must find out his will and fulfill it. Praise God. Now, how do you find the will of God? Number one, it is important that you believe that God has a will for you. He has a plan for you. You know, Jeremiah 29 verse 11 tells us, I know the thoughts that I have towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Praise God. A hope and a future. So believe God has a plan for you. Number two, you also have to renew your mind to um, the will of God, meaning the word of God, the Bible, you know. God's way of reasoning, God's way of doing things. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2 tells us, he says, to not be conformed to this world, but to be transformed, how? By the renewing of your mind. He says that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So to know that a good and acceptable and perfect will of God for you, you must renew your mind to the word of God. And what does that mean? It simply means that you will allow the word of God become the feeder of your thoughts, the feeder of your reasoning. That means God's word will begin to talk to your mind. You let the thoughts that form your mindset and imagination and perspective come from the word of God. And when you begin to let that happen, the word of God will begin to inform you and transform you and bring you to a place where you can see things the way God sees them. Now, when a man gets born again, his spirit is recreated and becomes a brand new man. The mind needs to be restored. And that was why David said, thou restored my soul. The mind needs to be restored to God, to his way of thinking and doing things. And that happens as we meditate on the word of God and then we act upon the word of God, our minds are renewed, we can tell without any form of struggle that this is what God would have us do. This is very important. Your mind must be renewed to the word of God. And in the course of renewing your mind to the word of God, you find out God's will for you. It's not difficult to know God's will when your mind is renewed. The difficulty is when the mind is not renewed. Carnality is that challenge really, you know. When the mind is not renewed, then it becomes difficult to know what God will have you do, how he wants you to live your life and his plan for you. But the very moment you renew your mind to God's word, you can tell without any air of doubt what God will have you do. And as you know that, you can plunge your whole life into it and fulfill his plan for you. Amen. This is what it means to find and know the will of God by the renewing of the mind. To be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And that's God's plan for you. I believe you've learned something very significant today. And go ahead and put it to work in the name of Jesus. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you.